Hey guys, so today I'm going to be talking with you about a topic that is very close to my heart. Let's get into this, shall we? We're gonna have a little bit, I'm gonna have a little bit of a rant here. It's, it's not really a rant, because I'm not really that angry. It's more of a discussion, a topic of interest. Today, we're going to be talking about kin, or kinning, all of the above. So, let's go ahead and get started. If you don't know what kin, being kin to something is, or what kinning as a general thing is, then you're about to find out. So, kin is... <laughs> I keep using the wrong verbiage, but... Kinning is basically, it's different for every person, but for most people, the general thing is that you make up your own definition, but it's basically where you relate so much to a character in a series, whether it be a TV show, an anime, a comic, etc that you feel like they are basically you. For example, I am kin for a lot of different characters. I can name a few right off the top of my head. Haruhi Fujioka from Oran, Honoko Kosaka from Love Live, Usagi Tsukino or Sailor Moon from Sailor Moon, Marinette Dupain Chang, Dupain Chang? Yeah. Marinette Dupain, blah, 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 blah. Marinette Dupain Cheng from Miraculous Ladybug, and the list goes on. And usually there are a whole bunch of different ways that a person can relate to a character and can relate to a whole spectrum of characters because, get this, people are complex and have lots of different characteristics. Whoa! Wow! To breathe, because this is something that really gets me going. Kinning is basically, like I said, relating to a character. And people are complex, so they tend to relate to a lot of different characters. So when you can, there are usually a lot of different types of like, there are different levels on which you relate to things, and this is true of anything in life, that you relate a certain amount to a topic or characters or something else. That There are different ways in which you relate to things, so kin lists are usually divided up into primary, secondary, tertiary, and sometimes other, and then there's usually a questioning. So primary is basically the characters that you feel strongest for, like basically all the ones that I named at first. For me, that I personally came for are on my personal Tumblr, on my kin list, and I will go ahead and link that in the description if you want to go ahead and check that out. So I have a lot of characters that I relate to because I've seen a lot of different shows and I relate to a lot of different characters. I'm gonna go ahead and bring up my friend Zoranda's kin list. If you don't know who I'm talking about, then you obviously are very new to the channel. Zoranda, aka Conda, the secondary on the kin list is usually like, you relate to them, but not as strong, still strongly, but not quite as strongly as others. And tertiary is like, you really in a small way, enough to say that yeah, they do, but not that that's basically what you do every day, that that character is literally you. So for Zoranda, one of her secondaries is Sokka from Avatar The Last Airbender, and Rosabella Beauty from Ever After High, and Patty Thompson from Soul Leader, and Gorilla Sutcliffe from Black Butler. Well, some of her tertiaries are Papyrus from Undertale, Steven Jr. from Steven 
Peters, Marie Rockbell from Full Metal Alchemist, etc. And some of the ones that she's questioning are Orine Aida from AKB0048 and Makoto Kino or Sailor Jupiter from Sailor Moon. Questioning kins are usually the kins that you're trying to think about that as you're watching through a show, you're trying to figure out related enough to this character to where it's a that they are me. Yeah, that in itself is the basic idea of kenning and the whole concept of kin lists. There are a whole lot, there are a whole lot of people out there, especially in Tumblr, because that's usually where all the kinning people are, and there are a lot of things that people say about those that kin, and there's a lot of negativity involved with that. Kinning is something that's more personal, and you can figure out whether you kin or you don't kin, and if, and whether that even applies to you as a process. Some people just outright say that, yes, I am this character, and that is a character I relate to, without using the term kin for their own reasons, but I personally like to use the term. People use it or don't use it for whatever reasons they choose, whether they want to use it or not. There are a lot of people that will... For, the reason I'm mainly talking about this is because somebody put a question through Zoranda's blog and be kind of upset and this is a common thing that happens that whether it's Zoranda or even Suri gets these kinds of questions and a few other people get this thing. Look at the thing itself, that way I can quote it. And the person that commented was an anon, so I'm not giving away any personal information here, but I just felt really, really strongly about this, and I decided that I was going to talk about it because it's something that comes up quite often in my circle of friends, and I just decided I would finally put my feelings out into a video because why not? So the person that asked Saranda said, I just looked at your kin list. I'm going to also a thing. I'm going to reword this because the spelling and grammar in this is literally horrible. <laughs> it's just bad and I don't think this person even tried when they were putting in the question, but I'm gonna turn it grammatically correct. And I just looked at your kit list and how can you be Tanki or Inuyasha? Based on your about me, you're not anything like them. I still cannot figure out what this is like in a two characters bio. No. Look into look into a character's bio to be making that decision, I guess. I don't know. I Zoranda answered to this. Uh, okay, rude. Who are you to say who I am and aren't? You know what, I'm just gonna post this and let others say what they have to say, but have a nice day anyway. And I responded to this, and I said, First of all, to this Anon, please use spell check. I can't take you seriously. I started laughing as I read this. Second of all, like Zoranda said, who are you to tell her who she is or is not? Do you know her in person? Even if you do, you are still not allowed to say who a person relates to or doesn't relate to. You do not know her entire life. She does, so she knows who she is kin for and is allowed to kin for anyone she does kin for. Third of all, kinning does not mean you look at a character's description and go, yeah, that's me. Kinning is different for every person, so she can decide who she is kin to. Thank you, have a lovely day. And Saranda put other things in there. I love that, but that is the basic essence of it. Kenning is not you look at a character's 
description of who they are and you look at their exact life and everything they do and their entire life matches exactly up to yours because it wouldn't. I mean, some characters for some people come really close to being exactly who they are in their own way, but that does not automatically mean that because you do not match up with a character's description, that your personality does not align exactly like that. That does not mean that you cannot kin for this character or that you are not allowed to kin for this character because kinning is different for every person and everybody is going to relate to something in a different way, like I said before. So I just. <laughs> The fact that this comes up so often is just honestly a little irritating for me because it's it's so stupid to me that someone would sit there. It's like if I were to comment to another person that you're not allowed to I don't know, I can't think of an example. Okay. Here's a good example. Here's an example. You are not allowed to like this TV show because you don't watch those shows and you're not allowed to like that show because you've typically liked all these other shows that don't match up with this show. So because your personality based off these shows you watch doesn't match up with this show you watch. Like that doesn't even make sense because I'm allowed to like this show and this show because I am a com I am a person and people are very complex and people have different experiences and different interests and different parts of their life and no one sees the entirety of a person's life and can then say no you're not like that you're not allowed to relate to that character you're also not allowed to sit there and tell a person that, oh, they are this character, like, you, you're this character from this series, I cannot, to Zoranda, go, you are Opal from Steven Universe, because you totally fit that character, because she would in fact say, no, not really, because I feel that I don't really relate to Opal in that way. So, who are you to tell me who I am? It's like walking up to a person and going, You're smart because you wear glasses. I'm sorry, that doesn't... Now you're just getting into character tropes. It's the same thing for Kimmy, that you're, you can't tell, a pers tell who a person is or is not, because people are different. I'm just repeating the same things over and over again, to be honest, but I guess I'm just trying to make sure that my point gets across that kenning is different for everybody, and relating to different characters is a whole other topic, I guess. Just that kenning is something that is very personal to me because I've always related to characters, I've related to Blossom from Powerpuff Girls since I was a kid that I grew up and felt like she was exactly like me, and Sam from Danny Phantom that I related to her in quite a lot of different ways, and Sailor Moon was me, but she was also some of my aspirations of who I should be and who I want to be, and everyone has that, everyone kids for different reasons, and I personally can because it's a way for me to look at all the different aspects of myself and face myself for who I am. And go, okay, I 
have these kinds of character traits, and I usually fall in this line, but sometimes I fall in this line of character, or sometimes I just fall completely into a whole other thing. And relating with characters actually gets me more interested in the show because I get more invested in the show itself. Like I said, there is no one explanation for kidding because it's different for everyone and everyone comes up with their own definition and this is just basically my definition and how I feel about kidding. So I hope you guys got a little more informed and if you're interested in checking out my kin list, like I said, that will be in the description. I will also, for all intents and purposes, I will put in Zoranda's as well. And that's it for my little random discussion video. <laughs> I hope you guys liked it. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And.